welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica. If you've never been here, welcome. Um, so today we're just going to be doing the review on these Target brand color pencils I found. Um, I ended up going to Target like everybody does, looking for some one thing and it never happens. I ended up strolling past the craft section and I ended up buying these stuff. Do I need them? Maybe not. But anyways, we're going to see if these works. These claim to be watercolor pencils that are good quality, vibrant, and we're going to test these out. The first thing I'm going to do is swatches. So if you hear in the back of some water, it's my fish tank. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, we're going to test out if they actually work, if they're good. Um, you'll see I will do swatches and a test sketch just to try these out as well as these. These are the Yobi color pencils. Um, the pricing on these I will put here. They are not too much. I don't think I have what the price I got them for. And then these ones as well was a couple dollars. I will put the Yobi color pencil pricing here. The whole thing with these ones are that you buy one and the next set goes to a classroom in need, which is pretty cool. It's 24 pack, you get a good color range and they're miniature size. You'll be able to travel with them. I don't know if you can see. But we'll be doing swatches first, so let's move along so that way this in entrance isn't taking so long of your time. All right, guys, we're just gonna start off with some swatches of these color watercolor pencils. The first color name is Usher. That's what it's pronounced, I believe. Uh, deep Aqua, Kale, Olive, French Blue, which pulls more purple than actual blue, Orchid, Deep Pink, Tomato, Cantaloupe, Sunburst, and Black. And <sighs> I just realized we're missing one color. We're actually missing Cocoa. Um, maybe it was misplaced or I never got it when I purchased it and I just didn't realize it, how I just opened it within this video. So we're missing a brown color pencil. So here you're gonna see that I'm gonna uh, color a circle with two of the colors in there. I want to test the orange and the yellow and the blue and the aqua deep just to see if how they merge together. Um, they didn't give me no problem. They were surprisingly super easy. As soon as I put the water down, they absorb and I don't see the streakiness of my color pencil strokes. So I got no complaints here. They're actually really good um, quality, just like it claims. So in the next circle, I do end up doing the red and the deep pink, just so that way we can see the range of colors. And I also want to see if I press harder, if it made a difference within the water application. And it absolutely did. As soon as I put the water down, the streaks, you can't see them all. It's super opaque compared to the two on top. So that's a plus. I really want to see how this works with the actual sketch um, sample that we're going to do a little bit later. But here I'm actually moving on to those Yobi color pencils. Um, they're okay. They're standard. I've, I've used worse. Um, they're miniature size, so I don't know how much use you're going to get out of them. They say they're good for travel, which could be true. Um, along with the whole color pencil thing, they don't feel too waxy like some where where they don't put any color down. They, this actually does have pigment, so that's a good thing. They won't take up a lot of space in your travel pack, so that's a good plus too. Um, the white, you won't be, it's not really opaque. You don't see it that much. They give a good range color range of three of the green, I believe three of the yellow. Um, they do include a gray, so that's pretty good. So we're just gonna move on to the actual sketch. I ended up doing a skull with a snake just to get, I was trying to think of something that had color to it. So that way I can get more use out of the color pencils. Maybe later I'll do another piece to show you guys how it comes out. But so far I just was laying out the colors and taking it one step at a time. So I did the pink snake first laid all the color down and I was trying to find like a technique that worked for me. So laid it all down, then got the actual paintbrush, um, went through with the color with water and it seemed to blend seamlessly. The, seamlessly there was actually no, I didn't have no trouble, no nothing. So I just ended up working on the black. The black is so opaque. I'm not even pressing down hard. It's, 
the the color pencils are so softly like pressed but not soft where they're gonna break on you so i got to actually play with the color pencils a little bit more and i did notice they are buildable so let's just say the first time you didn't get it as opaque you can go after it dries you can actually apply a second layer on top so i'm gonna keep playing with these color pencils and working on it and i will let you watch the rest of the speed through and i will talk to you in a little bit after it's done Okay, so we're back. So the rating of the watercolor pencils, these, um, I'm gonna give them a, I'm gonna give them a five star rating, which is really good. I had no problem blending them. As you'll see in the sketch test, um, I laid the color down, the darker you press, the more opaque the color is. Um, you get a 12 set range. I'm missing one, so I got an 11 set range, which is okay. Maybe next time I can pick up another set to get that cocoa color. But for now, um, the Handmade Modern, thumbs up in my book. Um, I'm going to try some other Handmade Modern products because I did end up seeing a metallic, but I'm not sure if it was watercolor activated as well. So maybe next time I go to Target, which will be pretty soon <laughs> i will pick up the other set just to review it as well um but if you actually want to try some good watercolor pencils i do recommend these they are like i said 
blendable opaque easy to use i had no trouble using them and i've used watercolor pencils in the past and these are a good set of color pencils to be to be used um the next review is the yobi color pencil the concept behind it cool the it's a miniature size so it won't take a lot of space in your travel pack um are they artist grade no but are they the worst no <laughs> so they're like in the middle if you want to just maybe as a gift or your kids or for yourself to do actual art it's not a bad set it's not i'm gonna have to try these a lot more the range is pretty good i don't know how much use you're gonna get out of them because they are miniature miniature size maybe you can get a pencil extender to not so much stress your hand out but for these i'm gonna rate these a four out of five just because the concept is pretty cool and i do like them they're not bad they're not the worst like i said if you guys like these kind of videos of me reviewing the like store store art supplies then let me know um give it a thumbs up just to let me know that you like these kind of videos and comment below what's the next store you want me to try i'm happy to try them put the art supplies to the test and i will see you guys next time because i really have nothing else to say Bye, have a great day.